How long do you think XARB support will last? How long will the trial last? Will this affect the state of the SEC? We will answer all these questions in today's video. King law expert has drawn attention to the problem with using the Howey test to determine whether something is or isn't an investment contract, which could cause the regulator to lose its war against crypto. As the cryptocurrency community eagerly awaits the resolution of the courtroom standoff between Ripple and the United States Securities and Exchange Commission. In fact, Todd Phillips noted a contention from the motion to dismiss in the SEC lawsuit brought against former Coinbase executives Ishan and Nikhil Wahi, which suggests that Howey isn't the best way to determine what constitutes an investment contract. In the tweet thread, the legal expert posted on April 8. You also need a contract, post-sale legal responsibilities, and the right to share profit, he said. If this ends up being the litmus test, then it is probable that cryptocurrency assets fall within the purview of the... Aside from its application in other court cases, such as that against the cryptocurrency exchange Coinbase, Utilizing this defense would be a serious blow to the sexy's power in terms of more than only regulating the cryptocurrency industry. The Ripple defense team has previously presented this case. According to John E. Deaton, an attorney and amicus curiae for the blockchain business who noted Phillips' tweet on April 9, he added that we are waiting for Judge Torres' decision any day now. The argument was used by Coinbase in its amicus brief in its amicus brief in Oahai. Scott Chamberlain, a former attorney and co-founder of the permissionless Layer 2 platform Evernode Exerpol, had earlier claimed that the lawsuit would have settled long ago if the sex had just claimed that Ripple had offered Exerp as an investment contract, rather than that it was a security. In response to a video of SEC chairman Gary Gensler shared by Susan Friedman, the International Policy Council at Ripple. Deaton's company Cryptolaw stated that cryptocurrency can't be an investment contract for those who acquire a token on the secondary market, for consumptive use and with no knowledge of interest in or rights from whoever previously sold it on chain. At the same time, according to Feinbold on April 8, Attorney Bill Morgan stated that the SEC's own expert had acknowledged that changes in the prices of Bitcoin B2C and Ethereum ETH might account for up to 90s of swings in the extra P value since mid-2018, which he found surprising. As of right now, XERP is trading at 51 cents, up 0.36 over the last 24 hours, but down 2.79 for the last week. Despite this, the digital asset is still holding on to its gains of 36.5 over the previous month. Following the outcome of the Ripple VSEC lawsuit, XRP is expected to be one of the best performing assets. Ben Armstrong, often known as BitBoy, is a vocal supporter of this story. The famous crypto influencer recently said that the resolution of the legal case will herald a fresh wave of profit for XRP investors who have been patient throughout the experience. On Wednesday, BitBoy turned to Twitter to voice his thoughts recalling a well-known remark ascribed to several persons, including philosopher Seneca. He suggested that the result of the Ripple v. Seek lawsuit will signal the end of one chapter and the start of another. The Ripple case might be resolved at any time. When one thing comes to an end, it marks the start of something else. In this situation, the new thing is that if you stick with excerpt and them, you will become Welzer Parmi, you will become wealthy. It's almost time for you to grab your rations. According to him, the next chapter will begin with the development of large money for XRP investors who endured the protracted legal processes with the SEC. He urged the XRP army to persevere, declaring that the moment had come to realize the benefits of their dedication. Furthermore, BitBoy said that he expects the Ripple and SEC legal conflict to be resolved shortly. However, the XRP community is skeptical of this claim, since the popular crypto influencer earlier stated that the litigation will conclude in September 2020, a prediction that did not come true.
to soothe any doubts. BitBoy admitted that his September 2021 prophecy did not come true. He did, however, clarify that his recent words were not simply forecasts, but rather based on true knowledge, since the trial schedule is likely to complete soon. As previously reported, Attorney John Deaton predicted that a decision will be issued on or about May 6. I love how people are bashing me for claiming that the Ripple case would be resolved shortly. I projected that it will end in September 2020. 1. That's the only time I've ever specified a date. It did not occur. The Oxert matter will be resolved shortly. It's not a forecast. Dudes. It's the conclusion of the trial calendar. A District of Massachusetts court released a ruling in the case against Commonwealth Equity Services, LC, on April 7, 2023, allowing the sexist petition for summary judgment and refusing the defendant's cross-motion for summary judgment. This judgment, according to the agency, strengthens the sex case against Ripple. The sex sued Commonwealth and CO John Rooney, in 2019 for breaching federal securities laws via deceptive sales techniques, including substantial misrepresentations and omissions of conflicts of interest. The SEC prevailed in the lawsuit. Most notably, the court dismissed the defendant's procedural claim that the SEC failed to give appropriate notice of the disclosure duties asserted in the complaint. Ripple's fair notice claim, according to the SEC, is as inapplicable as it was on the Commonwealth case. The SEC draws parallels with the Ripple case because Commonwealth similarly contended that a 50-year-old Supreme Court rule on disclosure responsibilities was inadequate to warrant fair notice. The court, however, found in favor of the SEC, holding that fair notice was thus provided. First, it holds that lengthy Supreme Court precedent may offer fair notice, which is similar to the SEC's position in this case that Howie and its progeny presented defendants with sufficient fair notice to defeat their constitutional argument. As a result, the SEC believes that the Commonwealth case offers further authority for dismissing Ripple's fair notice position and granting the SEC's petition for summary judgment. The XARP legal community sees no compelling arguments in the letter. Attorney Jeremy Hogan, as Bitcoinist reported yesterday, sees the technical problem at the core of the case. If Judge Torres understands technology and decentralization, he believes Ripple will win. Australian lawyer Bill Morgan dismissed the sex recent letter, claiming that there is no comparison. If you believe there is a factual similarity between selling an asset like Excerpt in a 13-year-old market to buyers to whom it owed no post-sale obligations, and a case in which an investment advisor failed to make all necessary disclosure of potential conflicts of interest from which it benefited to retail investor clients to whom it owed fiduciary duties and whose funds it managed, you should be concerned about the SEC bringing this case to Judge Torres' attention. According to Fred Rispoli, founder of HODL Law, the letter is not super on point, but it might cause a longer delay in the verdict. Judge Torres has always granted the opposing party time to reply to the other party's supplementary brief throughout the proceedings. Ripple could file a response in under two hours, adds Rispoli, who anticipates some delay.